More VFLs than a UT alumni chapter. Now, back to the Sports Source. All right, welcome back into the Sports Source. This segment of our show brought to you by A.G. Hines Company. Cold weather's coming in. That means you need to take caution and care with your concrete and masonry do-it-yourself projects. Exterior masonry projects require cold weather additives this time of year. A.G. Hines Company has them. They have the products you need. They can tell you which products you need. They can tell you how to use those products. A.G. Hines Company has been doing this for literally a century. If you want to talk about expertise, you're not going to get any better than that. A.G. Hines Company, aghines.com. All right, players only meeting. We got the VFLs out here. Uh, you guys played, so you tell me at this stage of the season, Tennessee's beaten up. I mean, Toa Toa had to leave the field, change knee braces, came back in. Aubrey Solomon went down a couple of times. Uh, I could go on with, with guys who were banged up. Uh, Bryce Thompson left the game, knee injury didn't come back. You're banged up at the same time. You've won three in a row, four of your last five. You happy about the open date right now, or are you saying, well, I'd kind of like to keep it rolling? Where are you? For me, I'm happy about it because you won. You've got these next two games. You're going to get to watch them up against Florida, Missouri up against Florida, see where they're at. I, I think right now it comes at a good time because you saw Batuli go out. You saw some other guys go out. There, there are enough guys. I think your offensive line is taking a step backwards because you have so, mm -hmm. many, so many guys beat up. So right now I think it's a good time. I don't. You know, I still think you could probably get one of the two games if you had to play through right now, uh, but I don't think you'd have a shot at getting both of them at all. So I, I think coming off of this could give you a chance to win both, uh, but playing straight through, you're probably going to get the game faster and know you're going to be in a bowl, but I think for right now this team needs it just to make sure they've got every piece they need. Sterling? Uh, as, as a quarterback in the skill position, we, we like to keep playing, keep that game rhythm going. But these guys are in the trenches. Uh, I love having those guys nice and healthy as a team that just promotes you to do better things on the football field. So I'm going to uh, you know, jump on here. The Vultures back to this time because, uh, <laughs> you know, I, I think with the position our team is in, I think we'll come off better with an off week now. What do you think, Mike? Yeah, I, I would apply to the her principle. Heal, evaluate, and rest, right? Heal up, evaluate. you got two games, right? That's you very Butch Jones-ish, you know. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. don't want to rethink the... Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't have a trash can over here. I'm walking around like an idiot with. <laughs> yes, an idiot. Um, no, because you think about it, you're banged up. you got to heal. Your defense, you got Batuli toe to toe you got Bryce Thompson, you mentioned. The, the offensive front and defensive front are banged up. You can heal up. Evaluate. You got to get one, you got to get one game to get to a bowl eligibility. You have a chance to win both if you really can take some time and break down some of them, evaluate what you're coming up against, and then obviously the rest. Rest your bodies. You got two games. There, know what's out in front of them. I, it, I think it's great timing for what they've done the last few games. All right, very good. Um, Kentucky used their open date wisely. I mean, give Eddie Grand credit, former Tennessee assistant coach. Uh, the fact that they came up with a triple option that they hadn't used this year, I mean, that gave Tennessee fits in the first half. Do you think this Tennessee team just does what it does and prepares better after this open day? Do you, can you see this staff throwing in a wrinkle or two for Missouri? At this, at this stage of the system, at this stage of the season, do they need to be doctoring up any new looks, manufacturing any new angles? I think you probably come up with one or two things, but you don't come up with a lot. A whole new. Yeah, you don't, you don't come, come up with a triple option. That's right. what I'm saying. You're going to come up with one or two plays yeah. and say, guys, in a third and long when we need it, this is the couple of plays against Missouri yep. and the couple of plays against Vanderbilt that we got them on. But beyond that, you're not looking at doing anything too razzly dazzle. Yep. You're saying, guys, get back to basics, get healed. Just do what you're doing right now. That's how we're going to play. Get healed, yeah. evaluate. Yeah. The herb. The herb. I've heard that. I've heard that somewhere. It's somebody all about that. I can't it's remember. All right. Uh, <laughs> Tennessee has been a pretty disciplined team all year. That's why it stood out last night. You had some big penalties in costly situations. You had the Trey Smith penalty that you know, might have cost you a touchdown. You wound up with a field goal at least. You had two penalties on that first Kentucky drive that kept their drive going. They get a touchdown out of it. Uh, you had a roughing the passer late uh, on a third and long, and you even had a uh, somebody on the staff laid a got a little extra shoulder into a Kentucky player down there. Uh, discipline issues. One game thing. Could that be the fact that you're 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 tired? You, you're beaten up. Uh, could that have anything to do with it? The fact that you're you're at the end of this run where you played six straight games, or no? It's just one bad night. 
I, I'm, I'm going to tell them it's one bad night. I think it's just one bad night. I think you are who you are, and then we are a disciplined team. But, you know, it's, it's amazing when all that emotion is out there in the football game. You're between those lines. Things happen. And, you know, hey, we, we got caught, and they, and they were right. But I think we're a disciplined team. I'm glad we won. But I think it's something we can learn off a win. And that's the best way to learn. I, so I, had, learn. I had a former Vol a few years ago tell me that the penalties start to stack up when you're beat up and tired. So that's why I asked that. Do you think that's an issue? Well, I, I don't know. So the offsides, I could see that, right? That's mental wear and tear. Yeah. Um, the, the, the penalty on trade, no. That, that is yeah, that's, that's, that, that, yeah, doesn't matter if you're healthy yeah. or unhealthy, if you're banged or whatever. You just don't do that. Um, they yeah. only had six to eight, I think, penalties. So they didn't have a, as many penalties as they've had in the past, but they were penalties on us. A lot of those, you're like, eh, I'm not so sure about those calls. So. The roughing call was one of those that, They'll usually call that one, but it's, it's, it's a fraction. Yeah, well, I mean, you've, got, you've, you've got a quarterback that's scrambling all over. He tends yeah. to run. I don't blame him for that because that guy hasn't really thrown the ball. He just runs and yeah, finds and open. And you don't know if he's going to stop and get down right. and get over here. So you've got to go for a shot yeah. on him to get him on the ground and occasionally just goes the wrong way on him. Yeah. Why even hit the quarterback, man? <laughs> <laughs> I thought even the one in the end zone on the, uh, the staff member, you usually don't see any coach – lay hand of any kind on an opponent. I think that's why I got it. If, if you, it, it was just very close. I, I, yeah, yeah I, didn't, I didn't think that was – it was kind of a, hey, you know, break up yeah. kind of thing. I didn't think, I think it was the, a complete I thought the shoulder total. went down a little bit, but yeah. still, that was a, it was a iffy, iffy call there too. Yeah. All right, uh, when we come back, we got quick slants coming up. Uh, I know that one of them is going to be on Kentucky, Kentucky. And we'll also talk about Penny Hardaway. I'm going to tell you exactly who he is. Memphis's Penny Hardaway is in the news this week. I'll tell you exactly who that guy is. Come on back on the Sports Source. <laughs> 